I mean, the ten righteous men, six righteous men. I ain't saying it verbatim, but that's how it went. And the heavenly father said, look, I'm just going to show what I'm going to do. Go ahead. And he remembered what, how Abraham prayed for who? Lot. Because he really wanted Lot up out of there. But he was asked questions about them, about them sodomites. Okay? Uh -huh. And that's what you do when you send up prayer. Go ahead. And it says, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt. Verse 30, and Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountains and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zor. Now I'm gonna tell you why the heavenly father, the heavenly father delivered, he, he, he delivers Lot up out of Sodom and Gomorrah, but it was the reason why he done it. He did it for Abraham. He said, okay, well I'm gonna fulfill what Abraham said. You know, I'm gonna ask his prayer to deliver Lot, but I got a whole nother plan for Lot. Go ahead. Man, it says. It says. Alright. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelled in the mountains, and his, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zor. Alright, that's what he said. He said, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come up unto us after the manner of all earth. Now this very key to what his daughters is saying, because the heavenly father finna truly reveal to you why he got Lot up out of there. Because of one reason, because of Abraham, but just another reason, just the other reason. Right. Go ahead. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. To preserve the seed. Preser preserve lot seed. Okay? Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 16. Because the only, only nation of people is going to be wiped out is the so-called white man pursuing the book of Obadiah, the 18th verse. They the only nation gonna be wiped out after you serve after they serve a thousand years of slavery. Right. But going back to Lot, <laughs> Ammon and Moab, the uh, Ammon is uh, the Japanese, and Moab is the Chinese. Going back to them, uh, the Heavenly Father knew what he was going to do to them in the future. So he was going to preserve, preserve uh, uh, Lot C. Go ahead. God, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 4 to 16. There is no end of all the people, mm -hmm. even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice with them. Shall not rejoice with them, cause like them ain't gonna rejoice with uh with Israel when they ruling. They gonna be in slavery. Okay, so you always gonna have a nation above another nation, uh, uh having another nation in slavery, whether it's a hardcore slavery or paying tribute. That's still slavery. Okay, go ahead. Done. Surely this is also. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So Solomon recognized that for the other nation. So that's what it's going to be. It's vexation of spirit for the other nation. It's vanity that the other nations think they're going to rule with us in the kingdom. No. They're going to be up under us and paying tribute to us, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that's plain. And if you don't like it, you know what to do. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, uh, what you just said, take this scripture out. This is edify that too. Right quick. Right fast. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, vain is empty. Why you all mad? Why you pissed off? That's the way it's, that's the way it's gonna be governed in the next world when America gets destroyed. God. The Israelites, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be on top, and you heathens are going to be on the bottom. Sure enough, you Edomites, the so-called white people, you're going to be all the way in the mud. This your last rulership. This it. You ain't getting nothing after that. And after you after you, after you, you uh, uh, serve that thousand years of slavery, you're going to be wiped out as a people. Like I said, and like the Bible said, like I said in the spirit, and like the Bible said, pursuing the Obadiah the 18th verse. God. This is Genesis 19 and 32. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. That's why them, that's why uh, Lot and Ammon look the way they look. 
because they got Down syndrome, man. They incest babies. The Japanese and the Chinese are incest babies, man. That's why they look the way they look with them slanted eyes, man. <laughs> that, 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 there it go, right there. Go ahead. Verse 33, and they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. See that? And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let's, let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie, and lie with him, that we may preserve seed for our father. And, that, and they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with children by their father. And the firstborn bare a son and called his name Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger, she also bare a son and called him ben -Ami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this very day. See there? So give me the, give me the, uh, go to Deuteronomy 23 and start at uh, 2. Yeah, that's that mongoloidism, man. The brother yeah. was speaking a while ago. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's the term that that's the term that Esau came up with. A guy by the name of uh, I want to say Johanna Blumenbach. He was naming all the different. He was basically trying to characterize the people on the earth who's superior. And I think that term came. He came up with that term mongoloid. Okay, but you know, Gone. Edomites always coming up with something, lying and making making putting their own terms on something to, to, to characterize certain people when he's a scum of the earth. God. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 23 and 2. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Now, when you read the Bible, a bastard is somebody, just say for instance, say for instance, if we, now if an Israelite woman, which a Negro, Latino, Native American woman, lay down with a with a African I'm giving you an example with an African, with an East Indian, with an Iranian, or with a with a Chinese, a Japanese, or or a so-called white man, and she lay down with him, and she bring forth that seed. That's a bastard. That's what it is according to the scripture. That's a bastard. Now, if if like like if I lay down with an Israelite, an Israelite, like if I lay down with a with a, a Chinese woman. Or Edomite woman, or uh, or or East Indian woman, right? And she bring forth the seed. Well, that's that's that son right there is an Israelite. He's not a bastard, okay? And to cut you, and to cut you to smithereens. What was a uh, 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 David grandmother name? What was his grandmother's name? They in the book of Ruth. David, David grandmother was uh, a Moabite. See that? Well, the, you know, right, but his uh, granddaddy his, was an Israelite. His granddaddy was an Israelite. Great granddaddy. So the, the reason why I said that, just in case you, just in case you say, well, you can't lay down with no uh, even woman and, and, and your son not be a bastard. You know well, then you going against what? Uh, uh, you going against the lineage huh? of David? Because the lineage go back to the father, but his mother, his great grandmother, was a uh, was a Moabite in the book of Ruth. I'll tell you that. So that's a cold cut. That's why I throw it out there like that. But an Israelite woman, she can't do that. She can't lay down with a heathen. She can't lay down with a with a uh, with an East Indian or Arab and uh, bring forth uh, an Israelite because the father the father. Is the progenitor of that seed. So if she lay down with an Arab, which is Ishmael, that's what that child is, an Ishmaelite. But the woman, she's an Israelite. And that child will be a bastard because he's an Ishmaelite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Ruth 4 13. So Boaz took Ruth. And Boaz was a Judite. Go ahead. Okay. And she was his wife. And when he went into her. He went into her. What is that? Having sex. 
Go ahead. Yahweh gave her conception and she buried son. God, I'm going to skip down. Uh, well, and I can read it. Keep reading. And the women said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which have not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may not be famous in Israel. And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life and a nourisher of thine old age. For thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons have borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became nurse unto it. Yeah, so she nerved the child up, man. She nerved the child up, taught the child that he was an Israelite, you know, like she was supposed to do, man. You see? God. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth was just a seed carrier. That's what she was, man. But that child was an Israelite. So God. if you're saying I can't lay down with a with a, a Moabite uh, or, or, or Ammonite or or, or Ishmaelite woman, then you out of your mind, man. You going against the scriptures, man. Because the lineage go to the go back to the father. So go back to Deuteronomy 23. Now all you niggas saying that shit, y'all part of that lineage. Yeah, and then when you go to Tobit, what they was trying to do? Maybe. What? what uh, 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 when you read the book of Tobit, what they was trying to do? Reason why Tobit told. Uh, uh, his son not to not to marry no strange woman is because they was trying to keep that inheritance within their family when you read that book. So you going off, hey man, you Jake's man, y'all, hey man, y'all better get in them scriptures and read them scriptures right, man. That's the whole, when you read that whole story, that was the reason why he told him not to be dealing with no strange woman from another nation because he was supposed to go get that woman and they were supposed to keep that, keep that uh, uh, heritage within their family. That's the reason why, man. Verse 17, and the women, her neighbors gave it a name saying, there is a son born to Naomi and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse and the father of David. See that? So the Judite, which is a so-called African American today, put a seed in the Moabite woman. And he was a still an Israelite. See that? Now go back to Deuteronomy 23. Deuteronomy 23 and 2. Now this finna explain why why Ammon and Moab, we don't deal with them, and they can't come into the congregation of the nation of Israel. God. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. So like I was saying. If you like the scripture was saying, if you lay, if an Israelite woman lay down with a with a Chinese man, that son is a, that that child is a bastard. Go ahead. Gone. And it says, even to his tenth generation, forever, shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord Yahweh. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh, even to the tenth generation, shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. Because they met you with bread and with water in the way when ye came forth out of Egypt. And because they hired against thee Balaam, the son of Beor, of Pehor, of Mesopotamia, to curse thee. Gee, they tried to send curses up on us. You see? So that, that's another reason why, see, the Most High knew, the Most High knew what he was going to do to Lot's descendants, man. He knew what he was going to do to him. Go ahead. Come and it says, Nevertheless, the Lord Yahweh thy power will not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord thy power turned the curse into a blessing unto thee, because the Lord thy power loved thee. Oh, I keep going. Thou shalt not speak thee peace nor prosperity all thy days forever. So basically, basically trying to look up the word prosperity. Basically trying to be at peace with him. You see, and basically be joined with him to, to uh, make uh to rekindle the rekindle the relationship with them, to basically try to bring them back in the congregation. It's over with, man. It's over with. It's over with. Pros they out of there. Prosperity from the Hebrew 28, 96. That Hebrew word is um, um, to to tobe to toba to 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 Yeah. The wop. It says, "Good to wop, good, pleasant, agreeable." See, agreeable. Basically, 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 try to re 
rekindle the relationship and, and, and y'all be on one accord. It's over with. Okay, go ahead. Con, Strong's definition, good in a wide sense. Unlike likewise a noun, both in masculine and feminine. Uh, good or good, good thing, a good man, a good woman, a good thing. Uh, better, best, beautiful, bountiful, cheerful, at ease. Favor, fine, glad, graceful. See that? Kind, kindness, loving, pleasant, precious, prosperity, wealth, welfare. Well, yeah. so all them things. So, so if you, so if you try to rekindle the relationship with them, you trying to bring them back into the congregation so they can prosper and rule with us. That's why the heavenly Father said, "A bastard shall not dwell in the congregation of Israel." Man, uh, it's over with. That's why the niggas got killed down there. And they let this bastard in the damn congregation too. Yeah, Esau, Esau. Mm -hmm. But we gonna read into yep. that. We gonna touch on that. Will, Thou shall not abort, but Edomite. We, will, we, will, we gonna touch on that. Too. We gonna do that. We wait for an hour to. Kill yeah, then we're gonna go into that, we're gonna go into that, and then we're gonna jump back to uh, Genesis. Genesis. All right. All right. This is uh 23, Deuteronomy 23 and 7. Thou shalt not abhor Edomite. Now that word abhor means hate.